Okay, welcome back all. So now that we have all three files downloaded here, just go ahead and minimize Firefox. That's all you need to do there. Now, open up your file manager in Windows, go into the downloads folder, and in the downloads folder, find file called Atom Setup. It will have a green icon. Just go ahead and double click on it to start it. Click on Run and wait for it. Atom is not the fastest one out there, I can tell you that much, in terms of development environments. Uh, I think even the Eclipse starts faster, but it's not really a big deal once you... It's really well adjusted for our needs, it's free, and if, it, if the installation takes a while, just let it run. Just let it go, uh, go make a cup of coffee or something, it should be fine. This is a virtual machine, so it's a little bit slower, but it's running on a PCI-based SSD, and that should help me out a little bit. If you're running it on an HDD, it might be a little bit slower for you, but no worries there whatsoever. Just let it run. Uh, as you can see, it will finish there, and then it needs to auto-start after it finishes. Just wait a while for it to auto-start. The first steps are a little bit painstakingly, well, not a little bit, they're actually painstakingly slow, but no big deal there. Don't go about clicking around, uh, thinking that there is something wrong. There isn't, it's just uh, it's just the startup procedure. So you need, you need to wait for it a little bit. We will need to actually install Node.js as well, and then we'll need to load the project into the Atom ID, and after that, we'll also need to actually do a few things in the Quick Start Master as well. As you can see, it's spinning. The blue thing is spinning next to my mouse, so something is still happening in the back. Don't go about opening things while this is happening. Just wait for it to start for the first time. It's still loading, putting some things together, even though you don't actually see much of it happening on the screen itself. I could have actually made the video shorter. Like I could have just double clicked on the installation, went through the installation and then cut out this a bit this long wait, but I wanted to leave it in. Primarily due to the fact that in all likelihood you will face the same thing when you conduct your installation and I don't want you to think that something went wrong because it really didn't. And I'm just waiting for it to start. There we go. So it did take a while, but after a while it did load and start. Uh, later on it will be faster while you actually work in it, but for the time being the first startup is painstakingly slow. Okay, now that this is done, we can go ahead and install Node.js. So there will be a file called Node and then there will be a version number next to it. Just go ahead and double click on it and click on run again. This should be faster. So just go ahead and click on next, accept the license agreement and sign your life away in all likelihood. <laughs> then click on next and next again, next, install. Yes, this, sh this process should be fairly fast. You shouldn't encounter any difficulties here. It should finish relatively, it should, it should even finish faster for you and go ahead and click on finish. Excellent, now that that is, now that that is uh, done, we need to go back to Atom and click on open project. Now, if you've done this before and something went wrong and you're doing it again, you might have some metadata remaining and you might not get the same screen as me. So you can also click on file and uh, then you will have add project folder. So you can also click on that and then look for the project here, but we're not gonna do that now. We're gonna go ahead and click on open project and then we're gonna click on open project here again. This might be a little bit slow, but I don't know, it was slow for me once, but if it's slow for you the first time around, just relax, don't go clicking around, don't click on open project a hundred times, just click on it once and wait for it to finish. So you need to go again, on, well, not again, you need to go to desktop. So this PC and then desktop where we have downloaded Quick Start, select the folder, open it up, and that's it. So it will say this PC, desktop, Quick Start, master. Click on select folder, 
and you will get and this will load for you all these files so if i click on them they will they will open up on the right side where you will have all these things here so no big deal there the next thing that we need to do is open up cmd so go to this search bar here and type in cmd press enter and the default location once the cmd is open in most scenarios is basically your user your user folder so it will say c users and then your user name my username on this particular machine is test i have created it like that because i'm only going to use this machine in order to create this course so go ahead and type in cd space desktop backslash quick start press enter and then type in npm space install that's all you need to type in and then press enter wait for it now npm install my might take a while but also it might you might get an error unrecognized command if you have actually started this up prior to actually installing node.js so you need to install node.js and then open cmd otherwise it won't actually work the way you expected it to work and you need to be in the quick start dash master folder in order to run this command so this is running and it's going to run as long as it needs to in order to actually obtain everything that it needs so there's some failures with the dependencies but it's gonna these are warnings not errors as long as it's a warning it's gonna go through everything else can be fixed later as we go along our mer as we proceed along our merry way again don't freak out if this uh takes a while if this spinning thing here is making you dizzy feel free to uh, just minimize the terminal or something whatever doesn't really matter it's just gonna take a while for it to finish so it just yep there we go just space or something and it's gonna continue on spinning on end uh, I'm a little bit disoriented with the CMD in Windows generally used to dealing with a Linux terminal which is far superior to this but no big deal the commands in terms of npm are exact are pretty much the same so you won't have any problems there so as long as you don't get any errors here you are good to go if it's a warning once again it's fine uh this can be fixed later as you can see depreci some package has been depreciated and discontinued in favor of another this is not a big deal for us at this point in time Ah, the spinning, the spinning backslash. Will it ever finish? Hopefully it will. Oh, yeah, make sure while you're doing this that you are connected to the net. So just verify that you are. You can either ping something or do something similar like that. No big deal. I know that I'm connected. I can see it here. It says connected, but I always like to check it with a ping, but doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure that you will all be connected to the net while you are doing this anyway because obviously you'll be watching it on online so you'll be able to see it excellent this is all done it's all fine and dandy we didn't get any errors none that i can see anyway the next command that you need to type in is npm space start okay so this is going to start and there we go almost happening okay allow access it's important that you click on allow access otherwise it won't work and there you go it's a localhost colon 3000 localhost is the address and then colon 3000 is the port and it says my first angular 2 app so the development web server is running all is fine and dandy there no big deal now we need to go back to Adam and we need to go to we need a we need a we need something for well this is not a strict pre-requirement but it would be very nice to have it we're going to go ahead and click on packages and we're going to go to settings view and then down below we're going to go ahead and 
click on manage packages if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, we need to like adjust this. Let me just, yep, there we go. Let me just move this. And then from packages, move downwards, go to install, and then search for a package. The package that you need to search for is Adam dash type TypeScript. My apologies for my phone. It's just Adam TypeScript and go ahead and click on packages. And it says searching for packages. The very first one that comes along, it says Adam TypeScript, the only TypeScript plugin you will ever need. I don't believe a word of that, but okay. Just go ahead and click on install and the installation should go through eventually. Yesterday, I think that the server was down. We were unable to perform the installation, but hopefully today the installation should go through just fine. Again, one of those painstakingly long procedures, just let it run. If it doesn't, if it doesn't happen to you at the time of the installation, just, I don't know, try, try it, try it a little bit later or something like that. Why? I really can't help you with that. This, it's up to the server on the other end. That's all that there is to it. It's not really up to me. It's up to the good graces of the service provider. The installation procedure. Is it? No, I've clicked on it. Install. Come on, my good man. Today, please. I'm just gonna let it hang there for a while and then I'm gonna come back to you. I will tell you for how long did I let it hang. Okay, sorry for the delay. I was just checking uh, my task manager whether I actually had any network traffic of whatsoever. I have waited for seven minutes for this to install. Now the installation is not long, but there is a limit in terms of traffic. And I imagine that at the time when I was doing this during the night, a lot of people were pulling at the same time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close the task manager, but it's installed now. Uh, just in case this is running a little bit long for you, that's nothing unusual. A lot of people are pulling it. You can, while this is happening, while it says install and that bar is spinning, you can go ahead and type in task manager and open it up. Did I open it up? Yes, I did. So it's your task manager, if you're opening it up for the first time, it's gonna look like this. Just go ahead and click on more details, then go to performance and then go to ethernet. And here you will see network traffic happening. So if there is a lot of network traffic, obviously it's attempting to download it if you don't have any other websites open or anything like that. If there isn't, then it might be a problem. But as I said, I waited for the whole seven minutes to get in line to be able to download it. So don't worry about it. You can just click on install and have a cup of coffee or something like that. Now that that is done, our environment is set up to the fullest of extents. We have the development server. We have our IDE. Uh, the quick, Angular quick start is loaded up and Node.js is installed. Everything is set up, configured, and as it should be. From this point on, along our merry way, we will most likely do some uh cosmetic things i will you will tune it to your liking and i will tune it to mine i will set the font size for myself you will set the font sizes for you uh, i will show you of course how to do this we will have an introduction video where i will explain the features of adam ide and where is what an orientation of a sort if you will but what you need to know now is that our environment is fully set up and good to go as it is. Everything that we will do with the environment in the follow-up tutorial or something like that will mostly be cosmetic changes. And also, of course, along the way, as we code and create our project, we might do some other changes and I will show them in great detail to you so you won't miss out on anything. I won't do anything without actually showing it to you and showing it how you can do it yourselves. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bid you all farewell here, and hopefully we shall see each other in the follow-up tutorial.